Hey fellow movie buffs, ever stumbled upon a cinematic masterpiece where laughter, surprise, and heartbreak coexist seamlessly? Enter a hidden gem from 1953 that goes beyond expectations. No need for fancy descriptions, just a straight up guarantee this one's packed with humor, shockers, and touching moments. Stick with me. Now who stole the show in this mixed bag of characters? Drop your favorite role below and let's compare notes. And speaking of notes, when did you first catch wind of this film? Share your memories, we're all ears. As we dive into the layers of this classic, spill the beans on your most treasured memory or personal experience. The comment section is your canvas, paint it with your stories. Excited to hear your thoughts share the highlights, the surprises, and the emotional moments. Your stories enrich this journey. So what's your tale from this cinematic experience? Keep watching, keep sharing, and let the tales unfold. A viewer's review of Beat the Devil reflects on its quirky charm and offbeat cast. Bogart's character, Billy Danruther, is married to Gina Lollabrigida and part of an international group of swindlers. The plot involves intricate schemes and subtle humor with cleverly written lines that unfold throughout the film. Despite its unconventional narrative, the movie offers an enjoyable experience. The ensemble cast, including Jennifer Jones, Edward Underdown, Robert Morley, and Peter Laura, adds depth to the story. While the film may not be Bogart's most conventional work, it remains a worthwhile watch for its unique atmosphere and engaging characters. Overall, Beat the Devil presents a memorable cinematic experience that transcends its quirks. In 1953, a movie featuring Peter Laura, Gina Lollabrigida, and Jennifer Jones hit the screens. Peter Laura, aged 34 at the time, served as the visual inspiration for the original illustrations of Gomez Adams and the Adams Family, as published in The New Yorker in 1938. Meanwhile, Gina Lollabrigida, who participated in the Miss Italy competition in 1947, secured the third position. On another note, Jennifer Jones received her first Oscar nomination for the Song of Bernadette in 1943. This marked the beginning of four consecutive nominations, a feat shared with Thelma Ritter, Marlon Brando, Elizabeth Taylor, and Al Pacino. Among them, Brando and Pacino hold the record for male actors with four consecutive nominations. Betty Davis and Greer Gerson, however, lead the female category with five consecutive nominations each. In 1966, Peter Sellers was awarded the CBE. Humphrey Bogart, a close friend of Richard Burton, once confessed to the Welsh actor that his ambition had always been to act in a Shakespearean play on stage. He regretted that the public probably would not be able to take him seriously in such a role due to his screen image as the tough guy. Peter Laura appeared with Cedric Hardwick in five films Invisible Agent, The Cross of Lorraine, Around the World in 80 Days, The Story of Mankind, and Five Weeks in a Balloon. Peter Sellers, known for playing many different roles, passed away in 1980 after having a big heart attack. He went into a deep sleep and didn't wake up for more than 30 hours. During his last two hours in Middlesex Hospital, London, his heartbeat slowly faded away. The doctor who took care of Sellers mentioned that he never woke up after being admitted on July 22, 1980. Humphrey Bogart, born on January 23, 1899, had a unique birthday story. The New York Times said he was born on Christmas, but that was just a decision made by Warner Brothers for publicity. However, two census forms from 19 proved that wrong. Bogart became famous for his role as Rick Blaine in Casablanca, which landed him at 19 on Premier Magazine's list of the 100 greatest movie characters of all time. Despite this praise, during the filming of Casablanca, Orson Welles remembered Bogart not liking it and calling it the worst movie he'd been in. The lives and careers of Sellers and Bogart were filled with both successes and times when they were not happy. Their influence on the movie world, along with personal stories, adds depth to their legacies. In the production of Beat the Devil, John Huston, Humphrey Bogart's first choice to direct, faced scheduling conflicts due to commitments with Catherine Hepburn and his ongoing project Moulin Rouge. Consequently, Nicholas Ray was considered as a potential replacement director. Jennifer Jones, at 22, welcomed her second child, Michael Ross Walker, in 1941 with her first husband, Robert Walker. Peter Sellers was honored with the CBE in 1966 for his contributions to drama. Houston, Bogart, and the cast navigated various challenges to bring the film to fruition, demonstrating their resilience and dedication to the project. In a famous movie from 1953, a big name in comedy emerged, leaving a lasting impression on many funny people who came after him. Peter Sellers was a big inspiration for comedians like Sacha Baron Cohen, Robin Williams, Eddie Murphy, Mike Myers, and Will Ferrell. It's interesting that even Elvis Presley was a fan of Sellers. 
The King always had Sellers Pink Panther movies with him during his tours, showing how much Sellers was liked and how much he influenced others. There's a funny story about Humphrey Bogart and Truman Capote in the background of the movie. Bogart, who usually played tough characters, ended up in an arm wrestling match with Capote. Even though Bogart lost at first, Capote kept at it and eventually won, winning $50 and even getting into some full body wrestling. Capote's unexpected victory became a famous story in the entertainment world. Later on, John Huston talked about what happened, saying, he really surprised Boji. Capote's unexpected talent made for a memorable moment behind the scenes of the movie. These stories about Sellers, Presley, Bogart, and Capote give us a special look into the movie and the world of entertainment. Each story adds something unique to the experiences of those involved. In a famous movie with many great actors, Peter Sellers really stood out because he could play lots of different roles so well. One time, John Cleese remembered bumping into Sellers in the morning, and Sellers started talking in all these different accents before going back to his normal voice. This showed how good he was at pretending to be different people. Another actor, Bernard Lee, did an amazing job in a sad scene in a movie called White Corridors. He had bandages all over his head, which made the hospital scene even more emotional. Peter Sellers became really famous for playing Inspector Jacques Clouseau in the Pink Panther movies. He was so good at it that he's considered one of the best movie characters ever by Premiere Magazine. This just shows how much of an influence he had on movies. Did you know that the actors from the movie Beat the Devil had some interesting stories outside of the film? For instance, Gina Lollabrigida, who was in the movie, made headlines when she got engaged at the age of 79 to a man much younger than her. But the engagement didn't last long due to a lot of attention from the media. Then, in 2013, she went to court, accusing her former fiancé of tricking her into a fake marriage to claim her money after she passed away. This drama in her personal life got a lot of people talking. These real-life events show that actors have lives that can be just as dramatic as the movies they star in. Amidst the creation of the film, notable connections emerged. Robert Morley, whose ties extended through family bonds with Sally Pearson, Robert Hardy, and John Merrillville, brought a sense of familiarity to the project. Interestingly, David O. Selznick, though not directly involved, played a pivotal role by suggesting Truman Capote's involvement. Capote, having previously collaborated with Selznick and his wife Jennifer Jones, offered a fresh perspective to the script. Additionally, Gina Lollabrigida, a central figure in the film, experienced a significant personal milestone, becoming a mother at the age of 30 to a son named Milko Skafik Jr. with her then-husband Milko Skafik. These intertwining elements contributed to the fabric of the production, shaping its narrative and character dynamics.